Good evening, everyone, and a big warm welcome to the SAIF Award Ceremony 2022. Tonight, you can expect an exciting program going on from live pitches, interactive voting, and the prize ceremony. With 286 eligible applications, we hit again a record high number. Um, we had applications going from 23 different countries. We're truly honored to have received so many applications and quality applications. And we want to thank all applicants for their commitment and their contribution to the SAIF Awards. Let's talk a bit more about tonight. Um, tonight we have the chance to have an expert panel who will share their um, insights and perspectives about uh, the finalists and the finalists' pitches. And I would like to now leave the floor to Maria Kristen Jacob, founder and managing partner of SAIF, who will introduce the panel to you. What could you say about the importance of impact in the tech startup system? In Switzerland. I think had you asked me 10 years ago, I would have said it's a nice to have, but things have changed. And now impact is at the very heart of almost any startup and any SME actually. And their clients are really looking for solutions to get closer to their net zero targets. So it's an absolute must nowadays. All finalists have four minutes to pitch, which will be followed by a short discussion by the expert panel. It is estimated that approximately 30% of all the industrial wood consumption globally is used for the production of industrial crates and pallets, 40% of which one-time use. That led us to come up with a solution to this problem. We knew directly we had to go from a linear economy to a circular economy, and therefore go into a modular solution with modules of different sizes, which can all be interconnected in four different directions very easily, like a Lego. So Swissstore develops energy storage devices which are sustainable to replace the current batteries today. And we develop uh, energy storage devices based on carbon nanotube uh, hybrid supercapacitors which use only safe and clean materials. They can charge in two minutes, uh, extend the lifetime 30 times compared to batteries, while at the same time can achieve high energy densities uh, due to our device design. I want to say I'm extremely excited by Swissstore in many ways so first of all this is a true moonshot and you know normally you don't see moonshots coming out of switzerland we uh, we tend to uh, look for smaller uh, solutions and tend to look for german uh, solutions and switzerland swiss solutions and this is a clear global solution which have a huge impact a clear moonshot so we are at the forefront of one of the most consequential changes in our food system Cultivated meat, to make that, requires four capabilities. You start with the cells, you add media, which is basically the nutrition to make the cells grow. You add scaffolds for texture and you do that all in a bioprocessing uh, vessel, which is a bioreactor. Cells are the most important piece because they impact each step of the production process and impact 70% of the cost base. I'm here to present to you Grome where we offer biodegradable foam solutions based on agricultural waste. We really achieved a foam lightweight uh, bulk uh, product that is biodegradable in two weeks in the compost. And we are today scaling it with a foam manufacturer and testing it with several end users. I mean, Grome has already identified, I think quite correctly, a lot of different markets, uh, the foam industry, I think that's a great move, uh, but also agriculture, I think looking at how to build these circular processes, I think that has definitely a lot of potential. Um, now we're going to be talking about the winners um, of this event, which we're all really curious about. And we're looking back to another year of outstanding pitches that have been done. It was really great to see. Now let's get to the winner of the UBS award for responsible innovation. Switzerland is the home of global trade, the home of trading companies, and I truly believe that we as a country have to take care of the impact that we have on a global scale. And therefore it's important that we do this as sustainable as possible. Now I guess you can almost guess it who might be the winner. The winner's impact is nothing less than to make freight logistics more efficient and more eco-friendly by minimizing transport and industrial packaging. To cut the long story short, the winner is Ponera. Thank you to all the participants. I have to say I was very impressed by the quality 
uh, of, of the, uh, the finalists, but also of all the startups that presented. This company also addresses, we think, a big topic, which is actually recycling um, you know, agricultural byproducts in a, in a very economically interesting way, but also creating a product out of there. But they have a proven technology. They have a good business plan, a good business model, and they are based here in Zurich. So I'm very to announce that Grom is the winner of the Julius Bear Future Trend Impact Award. We're proud to support startups who have been, who are brave enough and who are not discouraged by the enormity of these challenges. Congratulations to Roseland Technology. With pride, we grant you the award in the category of scalable solutions. I'm sure you had a hard time deciding given, as everyone mentioned, the quality of the pitches. Um, but I'm glad to announce that the audience award goes to Swiss Tour. Um, again, we're so thrilled to see the flourishing um, impact entrepreneurs that you all are and really want to congratulate every single one of you. We want to now thank our corporate partners, UBS and Julius Baer, for their long-standing commitment to creating positive impact and to support the next generation of entrepreneurs. We truly could not do this without you, and we hope that we can continue this long-standing partnership in the following years. Last but not least, thank you in the audience, in person and online. Uh, we were thrilled to have you with us tonight, and I can only say um, see you soon and thank you.